Hey guys, Indigo Priestess here. Hope everybody's doing fantastic, feeling blessed and living their best life. So I'm going to try and streamline this so it doesn't brain boggle anyone. If you don't know who I am, I'm a spellcaster, life coach. If you feel you are stuck in life, nothing's going the way it needs to be, then you need to come to me. I have the recipe to assist you. Also, if you struggle with invocations, evocations, and any form of contacting or communicating with spirit, you are more than welcome to contact me. All my information is in the description box below this video. So I wanted to just give you guys a little bit of a, you know, an understanding of how magical the world is around us. And I'm not going to complicate it. So basically, when you see space around you, you are looking at energy. What is seen and what is unseen is still alive. What is unseen makes it possible for this curtain to be behind me, for me to be able to stand here. What is unseen makes it possible for you to manifest that which you desire, whether it be through a spell whether it be through manifestation and using specific manifestation skills to bring forth what you desire in your life. So just so that you know, when you manifest and when you script write, there are techniques. If you're not using those specific techniques, there's a high chance that it's not going to just happen for you. So it's important that you understand how energy works, how frequency works. Okay. There is no way something can move in your life experience and within your reality if you do not feel that you are worthy of that experience. So that is where reprogramming the mind comes in. It is important for us to remind ourselves of our worthiness and to reprogram our minds so that we can break free from what people call generational curses, which is a pain body, which is a frequency that we are born into. So when we cast spells, we cast them for an individual who is not able to really see the power that they hold or not really able to bring it into their manifestation because they are so ridden by the matrix or by the thought patterns of the world. So when you cast a spell, you cast it within the quantum field. You then also bring in an entity, a powerful entity, to add its powers and its strength to the desire of your client or the, to the desire that you desire to bring into your life. Once you have that, you add emotion into the quantum field. You then add thought into the quantum field. You become a Wi-Fi signal. You then create the desired outcome you desire. The truth is we use the term manifestation, but what you are actually doing is jumping, quantum jumping to realities that already exist. The key is you can quantum jump by changing your thoughts and your feelings about who you are. We do that through spell work and we do that through manifestation. When you can learn that you were born with a God and a goddess gift, when you can change your mindset and reprogram it that you are worthy, you can easily quantum jump or cast a spell to move into a reality that was always meant to be yours. So when you see things that is empty space, Know that that is space that is readily and openly available for you to move your desired um, um, feelings and emotions into the quantum field. Whatever you desire is right there. The whole point of being it. When you feel something, you magnetize it towards you. Thought is electric. Feeling is magnetic. You want to always add feeling to your spells. You want to always add feelings to your, your script writing. And there are ways and techniques to do this. And if you feel that you are somehow stuck in between and you just can't seem to catch, you know, get that money code or understand the code. Money keeps slipping through your fingers. You don't understand the frequency of it. 
or anything like that, then I welcome you to contact me and I will be more than happy to assist you. There are self-help techniques as well out there, but there are ways that you need to do this. And I feel that if you are watching this video, you are meant to watch this and you are being reminded that you are a God and a goddess, that you were never born to struggle or to lack. It was always yours. It was always yours, no matter what they made you believe. It was always yours. And I will leave that with you. Bye for now.